from the minute I could string a few chords together, I always saw the playing of an instrument as uh, the pursuit of creating something. I used the, uh, the guitar as um, a tool, really, for uh, creativity and making something artistic. The Smiths went into a studio in Manchester and uh, only about a mile from here actually and um, and everybody just looked to me to make it. We had a couple of producers in the early days and I just watched those guys like a hawk and in some ways um, there was a couple of characters who became like mentors to me and um, I just was like a sponge and tried to learn everything I could from these older people. I wonder if we could have two loops, we have one that, that phases. Mm. So can you put a program on there so you're in, when you hit a pad, yeah. it, it has a loop going that then has phase on it. I record every idea I've got because you never know what that idea is going to turn into. Best way to uh, learn how to make a record was uh, to just roll my sleeves up and pretend that I was able to do it. The changes in technology totally influences the way I work. David Hockney's in his 80s and he's currently using brand new technology. I like Picasso's idea that inspiration does exist, but it has to find you working. That's been my experience. Working on movies, um, doing soundtracks, which I've been doing over the last uh, six, seven years. People like Christopher Nolan, Hans Zimmer. That was a new kind of uh, skill set for me and um, I'm still learning that and I'm excited about all the things that I can learn. So I, I think the idea of uh, feeling like you, you never know enough is uh, a really inspiring concept to me. Distance, stillness, one of the doors into the temple. Collaboration is a useful trigger to new experiences and inspiration. Today, I'm flying low. I'm letting the voodoos of ambition sleep. The world goes on as it must. The bees in the garden rumbling a little. The fish leaping. The gnats getting eaten. But I'm taking the day off. Quiet as a feather. I hardly move, though, really. I'm travelling a terrific distance. The band is an ultimate collaboration. You're in a band with three other, four other, five other people. And, uh, and it's a team. And luckily for me, I'm a band animal and I like working in teams. My personality is such that I'm kind of quite good at running bands and it's something that I've been doing since I was 15. And, that really held me in good stead with the Smiths and then Electronic with Bernard Sumner from New Order. Working with existing teams and finding a way of fitting in, that's just something that kind of suits my temperament. Taking ideas from other arts and fields and disciplines and applying them to your own projects is always worth trying. They're all living in these lofts that are like, I don't know, three, four times the size of this, $50 a month. And then, you know, cold water and um, starving. And um, the amazing thing about it is it's like now, you you know, you look at these guys and they're like, men and women, they're all like iconic people who uh, have made so much money from their art. But back then, they didn't even know whether they were gonna make a cent from it. You know, they're just mm. doing it just purely for the love of it. And they're not kids either. They're all like, you know, in the, I think the youngest yeah, is probably- Grown men, aren't they, really? Rauschenberg, he's like in his early 30s or something. I think I'm living through interesting times. The digital revolution has come around. That technology enabled me to uh, learn how to layer guitars and make these very intricate, um, but still primitive um, early guitar experiments on. Through that experimentation, I developed my guitar style. 
and it was very liberating. The band I was in when I was 24, Electronic, I mean, the clue was in the name, but um, that was Bernard Sumner from New Order and Neil Tennant from Pet Shop Boys, and then eventually Carl Bartos from Kraftwerk, all of whom are um, known for being on the cutting edge of technology in their day. Imagination and the human heart and the human spirit, which uh, is the thing that goes into those ones and zeros, manipulates them sometimes brilliantly and sometimes accidentally into a piece of work um, that the other humans can um, react to.